So would you like to connect the Google Analytics with your Google Tag Manager? This integration allows you to streamline your website tracking and gain valuable insight into use behavior. So there's two ways that I can actually do this. The very first way, an easy way, the most fastest way is to go directly into analytics.google.com. Inside here, what you want to do is to get started with the very first creation of a property or an analytic account. Once you do have an actual analytic account here, you can see that we have the properties and applications that we can all get started totally for free. Now that you have the actual blogger, uh, in this case, this is the name of my actual analytics account, you can always link and update your website hack easily. So here, what you want to do is to hit into get started and this one should be sending you directly inside the tag manager. So here, what you can do is to click here to create an account and you can hit into create account. Now here, what you want to do is to get started with the setting up your actual tag manager. So now what you want to do is to set up an account setup. Once again here, what I wanted to do is to do exactly the same thing with the same name that I hit here. In this case, is the blogger. TX. Uh, of course, choose the country currently living and the container setup. Now, the container name is going to be usually the URL of the website where you're actually driving through some traffic. In this case, I'm going to go for the Google Sites because here we actually have an actual website we want to get started with. So, in this case, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to go for publish or three dots and copy the site link. So, I'm going to go copy and paste it directly into my tag manager. In this case, I'm going to choose web and go for create. Now, lastly, what you're going to do is to agree to the terms of service and to the agreement. And usually that will be actually it. Because when you actually create an actual tag manager, usually this information should be provided and of course granted the access uh, inside here, the tag manager, and should be appearing here. As you can see, here's my tag manager account. So I have now this container and I can open that tag manager. So the last thing what you want to do is to install this tag manager directly into your website. So here, what I wanted to do is to paste this code into the high and the end of the page as possible. And of course, immediately after the opening of the, the body. So if you're using, for example, Google Sites, it's gonna be really hard to just add it, but what you can do is to go into Embeamed. I go back, of course, here, I copy it, I paste this code, and after I insert it, I wanted to just move it at the bottom of my actual website, like this. Since this is totally transparent, that will be actually fine, so I get it into published, and then we're actually good to go. Now, the tracker configuration, after you're setting up the tag, you need to configure the trigger to determine when the Google Analytics should fire. So you can select the triggering and choose an existing trigger to create a new based on your requirements. So this trigger will actually determine when the tag will fire, such as on a page load or in a specific interaction. And it should be appearing here inside the tag manager. So I can go directly here into my triggers. And here into my triggers, I can go for new button. And now as you can see here, it says choose a trigger to begin the setup. So let's say for example, I'm gonna go for something easy, for example, the page view, right? So choose page view, the trigger fires on all the page view, and I hit now into save. And save this as a page views. And here it should be appeared my actual event type. And as you can see here, it's gonna be already been submitted. As you can see here is the public and created the person. If you wanted to create different submission configuration, but in this case, I'm gonna just leave this like that. And actually, that would be actually it. My tag manager should be already been added directly into this section. And of course, my analytics, my tag manager, my data studio, even the service already, everything should be already here, um, let's say organized. Now, lastly, before we just go into the end of the video, what I wanna be showing you is to use the Google Search Console. Now, the Google Search Console is gonna be helping you to optimize your actual website. And what you can do is to do so much more. For example, you can add your actual website directly into the Search Console, and you can add more different properties and more different experience as you're getting started with all the tools that the actual Google has to offer to us. And lastly, guys, what you wanted to do is to verify the setup directly into the Google Analytics. So head over to your Google Analytics account, navigate to the real-time section to verify that the Google Analytics is receiving the data from your actual website. And with that being said, we are actually good to go. So let's get back. Let's go for the properties and apps. Let's go for the reports and focused only into real-time. And there you have it, guys. 
You successfully connected your Google Analytics with the Google Tag Manager. Remember that we need to make the verification of this process directly with the tags that I just showed you. Sometimes it might be taking up to one or two days, but you just need to be patient to them. And well, that will be actually it, guys. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, with all of that being said, we can see you to a brand new section of TaxPress. See you next time.